So anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna try to do uh, like a like a story theatrics uh, with my violins and basically put on a little show that way. So there'll be maybe about 10 songs and stories in between. Like I have one song with my 1713 Stradivari copy called The Haunting of Stradivari's Wife. And there's a video you could see on, on YouTube here. It's on this channel called The Haunted Stradivari or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, just type in 1713 Stradivari and I'll probably, you'll probably see more videos of me than anything. But you'll see a picture of it sitting on the table and the haunted violin or something like that. And uh, whether you find the story through me or somebody else, uh, it was cool. It was an email I got. I kept the email too. And I want to print it out and incorporate it into the show. And, and I got a little tune that I call The Haunting of Stradivari's Wife. And uh, yeah, and a little story that builds up to it. So it should, it should be fun, right? Ah, a little Honda CRV with multiple colors. Ah, uh, ah, uh, hearts, guys, hearts. <laughs> my my, my uh, CRV had two colors, uh, sil no, three, silver, black, and rust. <laughs> oh, that, oh, wow, that truck took a bang. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I want to do that because I thought about the acoustic guitar thing. But my acoustic guitar, I mean, I'm so disappointed with that tack, the G the G series uh, tack 12 string that I got that, you know, like, not even a year, it wasn't even a year and a half old and then like the pickup doesn't work anymore. You know, like I, I'm sure I can get it all fixed. Uh, it doesn't intonate properly. I have to play it as an 11 string, <laughs> you know. Um, that that really got me, you know, like, I mean, I, I spent a lot of money on that guitar, but sometimes, you know, with acoustics, you, you win some, you lose some, right? Um, other than that, I love the guitar, you know, and whatever. But I need a reliable acoustic guitar to go gig with, right? I could use those little Dean pickups in there, but they really sound crappy and whatever, you know, is what it is, right? Uh, but the violin is all acoustic. There's no amplification to bring, all that stuff. The only thing you have to worry about is will it stay in tune? <laughs> you know, hence, if you bring five violins, one of them's got to stay in tune for at least an hour and, you know, whatever. Uh, so I think a violin show would be kind of cool. I think it'd be kind of cool. And I could make it work, you know, like when you guys see my violin videos, you have to understand those things are improvised on the spot, no rehearsal, whatever. So yeah, they suck bad. I shouldn't do that, but I do it anyway, just cause, well, why not, right? Just to show them off or whatever. But when I actually put a theme and, 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 and work the song and don't worry about trying to be Paganini type of thing, uh, the songs actually sound really good. Uh, they actually sound like really nice melodies and stuff like that and, uh, you know, it, so it sounds really good. Now, when you combine it with a story, like there's a story that I call Tale of Two Ships. Uh, anytime I've ever played it for people, whether I did it on the mandolin or did it on the violin, people are always, or the guitar, they've always been extremely blown away by it. And then I run it into uh, Farewell to Nova Scotia, right? Which is, uh, you know, everybody kind of knows that one. But uh, one of my subscribers, uh, I've been, uh, I guess, a bit of bad influence on him. <laughs> For all the trolling he does, consider getting even. Uh, <laughs> he knows who he is. Uh, he bought, a, I think, a Telecaster or something. Good good on him. Uh, but he was telling me that he found a Mark Holcomb guitar at Long and McQuaid, uh, the six-string version that I got for like 800 bucks or something like that. Seven ninety nine, 800 bucks. I'm like, go buy it, dude. Like, you'll have to learn to get rid of, uh, get, get to live with it. But once you do, you'll probably sell all your other guitars. It is that good. It's weird to get that flat, flat fingerboard. Now mind you, it depends if you're doing shredding or not. If you're never gonna be shredding, even then, even then, it's just, when you do a string blend, like a blues guy would maybe not necessarily like the pickups in it, because they're, you know, they're, they're pretty like rip your face off. You know, the Alpha and Omega pickups are pretty rip your face off, right? Great for metal. Uh, but when you split the coil, they're they're not bad, but they're not juicy like a like a, a Telecaster. But if you did, like I want I want to I'd love to have the uh, the new version of it, which has uh, more mellowed out pickups, uh, which would probably bring you into like Les Paul, SG, um, Telecaster kind of sounds on that guitar, which would make that guitar like really awesome. Mark Holcomb did that with his newest version of it with the uh, Scourge and Scarlet pickups so that they weren't quite as hot, so that he'd get better cleans out of it and whatever. 
still good enough that you could be a metalhead, but uh, not as aggressive in your face where the Alpha and Omega is like just, you know, as the name would suggest, they're just completely rip your head off, uh, which I love them, especially in drop C. It's just ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, right? Uh, but, you know, get some real good dynamics in there. Man, that'd be a guitar of the ages. Like, it, it really is spoiling me. Like, uh, I'm going to do probably a comparison between my Jackson Rhodes V, the, the RRT5, which is my funnest guitar to play. But my best guitar to play is still, like, for sure playability is my Gibson SG's 3. That is probably the best playing guitar to date that I've played. And you think of the thousands of guitars I've tried in music stores and stuff like that over the years. That's a bold statement. It's just Les Pauls and SGs play extremely well because of that short scale length. And the fretwork is usually typically really good. Get off the road, bird. That's right. You get out of my way. Ooh, I don't even know what that was that he's chewing on. Looked pretty fresh anyway. Uh, yeah. So anyway, 